what's up you guys good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time it is where you are when you're watching this video um but today i am having my wash day so i am not new to being natural i've been natural for about three to four years now well i'll say three years completely natural um with no like a perm but um i've been trying new things on my hair to see growth in my hair which has been working but i um learned some more knowledge for natural 4c hair so today is going to be my wash day and i'm going to just let you guys see what i'm going to do i'm going to be only shampooing my hair and then i'm going to give myself a deep condition so now i'm going to try this thing where my hair i'm going to try to shampoo my hair once a month um and deep condition my hair uh once a week so we're gonna see how that works for my hair my hair has been extremely dry especially because i color my hair a lot um i have a high porosity here so um yeah i'm gonna do a deep condition to see how moisturized my hair is and how um it reacts on it or do i need to shampoo my hair more often so i'm gonna let you guys see all of that craziness all right, you guys, so right here, I'm just showing you how I created my own um, DIY hair mask for the deep condition. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so right here, I'm using my extra virgin olive oil, aloe honey, the aloe vera juice, co coconut oil, and avocado. I also added in some conditioner at the end to make it smoother and more like thicker. my first time ever 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 buying or using a avocado in my life so bear with me because i don't know how this works but i see videos so we're gonna try it today This is my hair. I had um did like a twist out. So you guys probably saw it in my last couple of videos. I had like a twist out um with like my hair was all curly and stuff. But now it's nappy looking. It's not nappy. It is soft. Um, it's very soft, but it is dry, and it needs to be washed because I have a lot of product in my hair. <clears throat> I look a little crazy, but <laughs> my sister said a little. But yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be using my favorite shampoo, which I am gonna buy um, different types of products that I'm gonna be using to test them out. But this is one that I've been using since I was in cosmetology school. Um, it is peppermint and aloe therapeutic anti-itch shampoo. Um, I have very itchy scalp um, and it controls flaking and itching. So that's one that I'm gonna use. And I also have this. 
this I'm gonna try. Um, I just bought this when I had colored my hair, but I wanted to try it out. Um, has no so, um, it has no sulfite. Um, it's water, sodium. But we're gonna try it and see what it does to my hair. So yeah, stay tuned, guys. So some people might have this issue, like I do. My hair takes a long time to absorb water sometimes. So as you see me right here, I'm just going to keep soaking my hair until it's fully <laughs> drenched with water. Um, and then I'm going to begin washing it out. So since I'm going to be doing a deep condition for the first time, I'm going in and making sure that I get all the product off of my scalp. So as you see, I'm just working towards the scalp before I hit the ends, just making sure that I get everything out. And um, as you're scratching your head, you're not using your nails, you're using the like the tips of your finger um, because you don't want to ruin the your scalp or damage your hair. go in with my peppermint itchy scalp um, soap this I take my time with uh, just to make sure that I'm getting my scalp because my scalp is very itchy and um, usually gets dry so hopefully this conditioner does work at the end um, so that I don't have to use this as much but it feels very good and it's nice refreshments Alright y'all, so this is what my hair looks like after it is freshly washed and cleaned. You can put it in the living room. It feels so good. When you put that peppermint stuff in, the shampoo, it feels amazing. Like your scalp just feels so refreshed. Minty. It's clean. Hair is squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. Alright guys, so... I have my deep conditioner here and I'm going to start. Yeah, make sure your hair is wet. So one thing I didn't do since I've been natural, I, one thing I don't do, I haven't been doing the best because I didn't know much about it. Um, I mean, I knew, but I didn't have the time that I have now since this quarantine. I have more time to really take care of my hair and, um, you know, put more love and affection into my hair. So um, I didn't really deep condition. I just washed, shampooed, and um, did regular conditioner and washed it out and dried my hair. So now that I'm starting to do this stuff, I'm going to actually try not to put too much heat to my hair. Um, especially if I don't have a heat protectant. So, um, yeah. And normally I, I didn't pay attention to the shampoos and conditioners that I was using. So I wasn't paying attention to what it was saying on the back of them. Um, but now that I did a little more research on it, I know that um, alcohol is not good for your hair. Uh, sulfate is not good for your hair. Like a lot of things is not good for your hair. So... Um, in my next new videos, you'll see different products that I'll be bringing on to the videos to show you guys what I'm trying um, and seeing if it works. So, let's get started. Oop. Okay. Well, I'm not going to put any gloves on or anything like that, but it's not important to put it to your scalp. It's more important to put it towards the ends. The ends is where it needs it most. So you can just start from the end and work your way up. Hey, sorry y'all. So I was struggling with the metric cup, so I just put everything in here, which made it a whole lot easier. Let's see it, a whole lot easier. So yeah, like I was saying, when you're doing a deep condition, um, mainly focus on the ends of your hair. Don't worry too much about the roots because the roots are new babies. The new babies to the to the family 
and they're already fine. Look at me making a mess already. Yeah, and just work it through the strands of your hair. Make sure you get on every strand. What you looking at, Denji? So yeah, guys, I'm gonna finish this and I'll be back. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, I'm done with this side. Did these twists in there to keep them from tangling up or touching each other. Oh, on to the next side. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you how I was sectioning my hair and um, twisting them up as I put the deep conditioner in my hair. Um, I did them in very small sections only because I wanted to keep the twist in after I wash it out. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm done. Finally, it took me a long time because I did them small. I could have did the twist a lot bigger, but I wanted to do them small. So, yeah, this is it. Yep. All right, so I'm going to put my plastic cap on. My plastic cap on. And they say to leave deep condition in your hair to about 10 to 15 minutes. Nothing over that. So once that is done, I'll get back to you guys when I'm watching it out. All right, guys. So I wanted to show y'all what I am going to do with my hair. Um, since I took a long time for my hair to like to finish my entire hair with the deep condition, um, I noticed that this side dried up a little bit, so I'm going to, um, and my hair dried, so I know that my cuticles are a little closed because the, the, um, cold air was hitting it. So what I'm going to do, I have this little hair dryer. I'm going to just plug this in. And it's just like a little dryer. Just to add some heat, um, to my head. <laughs> so my cuticles can open up again. guys for watching now i'm just gonna leave them in these twists i'm gonna oil my scalp and i'm gonna probably air dry it i'm gonna have to probably do these twists on because look they're coming out but thank you guys for tuning in just wanted to, to see my deep condition that i do and i'll see you guys in my next video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe shake that bell and i'll see you in the next one bye